So you remember a short time ago we talked to Doug Luzader about the soaring inflation rate and its impact on the nation. Well, people in the Inland Empire, unfortunately, are feeling this way more than anyone else right now. Mara Ramirez joins us from Montclair. What is happening that the folks in the IE are, are facing this high inflation rate? Good morning, Michaela. We're all feeling it, right? Especially at the grocery store because food and housing costs account for more than half of the rise. But here in the Inland Empire, there's a reason why the inflation rate is even higher, and that's because the population and labor growth has really been outpacing the rest of Southern California. Here in San Bernardino and in Riverside counties, more people moving out of cities and into suburban areas. So take a look at these numbers. The IE has the highest inflation rate in the country right now. Consumer price index increases from year to year show a quadrupled rate of nearly 7% percent from last year. San Diego coming in fourth highest of 23 metro areas tracked and LA and Orange counties just under the nation's 5.4 percent annual pace. All of us starting to pay more for just about everything from gas prices to produce, prices for new cars, household furnishings and car insurance also saw record increases. And the White House saying these price hikes are temporary fueled by supply chain disruptions. But for everyday consumers, it doesn't really feel that way. Here's some that we talked to this morning. Prices are a lot higher and it's hard to find some of the stuff that you normally would get. The shelves are pretty bare, so it makes it a little harder to get some of the stuff. Plus employees are hard to find. I've noticed a pretty severe jump in price. I was buying food for a long time before and I felt like it was way less expensive. It's up all across the board, but mostly the meats, the milk, the eggs, the essentials. You can't eat fresh food because even the fruit went up. At the grocery store, you can see here meat, seafood, and poultry saw the highest inflation rates year to year. Back out here live, I did some shopping myself. Eggs, Michaela, jumped up by 10%, 3.39 for a carton mm -hmm. of 12. Uh, milk, 2.99. Cereal, 2.99. Uh, so we definitely are feeling the crunch here as we head into the grocery store at, in the Inland Empire, especially, Michaela. You know, it's interesting because I think sometimes when you're in a rush, you just sort of buy what you need to buy. But you, we, I think more and more families families are going to have to take a look and price compare and figure out where you can get some of those deals, hang on to those coupons, you know, look for the deals where they can to try and save some money. Yeah, and some consumer, consumer sh uh, tips that I want to mention here. They say uh, shop grocery store brands to save money, uh -huh. yeah. shop in bulk as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, some things you can do to cut prices as we're seeing these uh, skyrocketing consumer prices. Look at Mario with some tips for us on my grocery shopping. If I sent you my list, is that overstepping my bounds? I've got a couple of items I could just quickly now, use. For you, Michaela, send me that list. My and, uh, sweetheart. No price is too high for you. Oh, baby, that's so sweet. Our Mario, taking a look at this. Look, we we have a little bit of fun, but real talk. This is uh, this is going to impact a lot of folks, and sad to see that the folks in the Inland Empire are feeling it the most.